I'm here at HPE Discover with Ken Wan, and last time we talked, we talked a little bit about what HPE is doing with Azure Stack, and now I hear you guys are announcing something here. That's right, so we're super excited here at Discover to be announcing our Azure Stack offering. You know, in this Azure Stack offering, we've been working a lot with Microsoft over the last few months, so that can we bring this capability to our customers? And, and what it does is it allows customers to run Azure consistent services from their data center. So some, co some companies are a little concerned about putting uh, certain applications or, or data into a public cloud. Well now we have a cloud that you can put in your data center that's fully compatible with, with Azure public cloud. So if you develop an application, for example, in Azure, you can deploy it into, uh, in, into, a, into a private cloud with no change in the application. So really exciting, uh, we're seeing a huge amount of interest in this offering. So what about customer examples? Do you have any yet? A lot of customers are super excited about this and there's a, there's a few really key use cases that we're seeing where customers are really engaging on this. One of these is, um, I'll, I'll talk about one of our partners, OCSL. So OCSL is a partner that um, provides managed services to, to customers that, to help them architect their hybrid IT environment. Um, and, and just as the, a hybrid IT environment, meaning that their customers are looking for an environment that has public clouds, private clouds, traditional IT environment, and some mix of that. So OCSL's customers, uh, many of them, while they're using a public cloud for some reason, for some of their workloads, some of their workloads for um, performance reasons or, or uh, privacy reasons or other reasons, they want to have a managed service because they don't want to put it into a public cloud. So what OCSL is doing is taking this, app, this uh, Azure Stack solution that we have, putting it in their data centers and offering Azure compatible managed services to their customers. And so what they can do is they can build their own applications on top of Azure Stack so they can add value to the services that they offer to their customers. That's pretty cool. And performance is something that you mentioned. What about performance? Because I know latency can sometimes be an issue in the cloud. That's exactly right. So one of the challenges that some of our customers are seeing is that when they put applications in a public cloud, the, the latency to, to get to those applications or to, to, to get the data is, is longer than what they like to see, um, or, or it's, it's non-uniform, and that causes some problems with some applications. So there's another one of our customers, IT Total, who's providing services um, to, to help address this. So they're, they, they've created, using our Azure Stack solution, is, are providing uh, services that have low latency, uh, that, that don't have any of these performance concerns, no jitter issues, so that as, uh, for these applications that are, that are sensitive to that, they have a beautiful solution for that, so there's no concern for that at all. Nice, what are, any other examples? So, you know, it, there's one of the big concerns that people have, the number one reason that people are worried about or, or their concerns as they're going to a cloud is security and, and compliance. And one of our, our customers, Saxo Bank, uh, as being a bank in the financial industries, you know that they're concerned about customer data and super sensitive about the, where the data goes. Um, but they really love the concept and the ease of a public cloud. So what they're looking for is to be able to have this public cloud experience in their own data centers. So Saxo Bank is using our Azure Stack solution in their data centers to provide that, that protection, that security, and that compliance that, so that they can meet all the, all the financial industry regulations. Um, they're sure that they can have the data uh, is, is well protected. Um, and, and still they have compatibility with a public cloud so that they can actually do development if they want to in a public cloud, but deploy in production in their own data centers. So that compliance is, is, and security is, is another top use case for, for Azure Stack. One of those areas where if you need to have the data located, like say in a specific country, then you can accomplish that with this, whereas the public cloud you could not. That's right, so data sovereignty is a huge concern uh, for those of you, for, for, for people who are particularly doing business in Europe. Um, in fact, a lot of countries in, in Asia also have this now where, where customer data or, or Certain, certain amounts, certain types of data need to stay within country boundaries. So if you're an organization that works in a lot of different, uh, across a lot of different countries, Azure Stack allows you to have a consistent uh, application experience by putting the exact same application in different data centers in different countries. So you can just develop that application once and then deploy it into each country that you're operating in and you have a consistent set of applications that you're working with. 
What about like, um, say, uh, managed services? You talked about a service provider situation, but what about a company that provides managed services? Does Azure Stack make that easier? Azure Stack's a great offering, a, a, a great solution for companies that want to provide managed services. And they can do it in a couple different ways. We have some of our partners um, are, are running Azure Stack in their data centers to offer managed services to, to their own customers. One of our, a number of our other customers have a slightly different twist on that. Um, one of the companies, the, the unbelievable machine company, takes the Azure Stack environment and puts it into customer's data center. And then they manage the, the Azure Stack solution running in the customer's data center. So now they may have multiple customers with this solution running in their customer's data center, and, and the, the unbelievable machine company can manage all of these in a, in a uniform way um, with uniform policies because the underlying infrastructure and, the, and the, uh, the software, the Azure Stack software is the same. And so that addresses a lot of the, the, uh, the compliance or security concerns. Uh, it gives the customers the ability to keep uh, the, the applications and the, the equipment in the customer's data center, and it gives uh, the unbelievable company the ability to offer managed services of, for systems running in their customer's data center.